do you imagine when you think of Abu Dhabi? Skyscrapers? Palm trees? Deserts? Definitely not this. And yet, around 2,500 hectares of mangrove forests are found in Abu Dhabi and form an important part of the coastal ecosystem. One of the peculiarity of Abu Dhabi and uh, mangrove and the, uh, in particular are that most of this mangrove and very few people actually living in the UAE now are aware of that are mainly uh, artificially planted. And these plantations uh, have been set up, some of them 40 years ago, largely by the vision of the founder of the country, His Highness Sheikh Zaid al Nayan. What makes those plants so special? Mangroves are remarkably tough. Most live on muddy soil, but some also grow on sand, peat, and coral rock. They live in water up to 100 times saltier than most other plants can tolerate. They thrive despite twice daily flooding by ocean tides Growing where land and water meet, mangroves are the first line of defense for coastal communities. They provide natural barriers and stabilize shorelines, preventing erosion and protecting coastal communities from increased storm surge, flooding, and hurricanes. One of the most striking examples is the uh, tsunami in Indonesia a few years ago, where it was clearly demonstrated that coastal area which were protected by uh, natural stand of mangrove actually sustain much less damage from an infrastructure point of view. Mangroves are essential to maintaining water quality. With their dense network of roots and surrounding vegetation, they filter and trap sediments, heavy metals, and other pollutants. The ability to retain sediments flowing from upstream prevents contamination of downstream waterways and protects sensitive habitat like coral reefs and seagrass beds below. Looking at the role of these habitats in maintaining um, and enhancing water quality, and this is a key issue in Abu Dhabi because um, water quality affects uh, both the ability to use uh, the environment for swimming and, and other purposes for uh, getting food sources out of the sea and having good quality food, but it also affects the ability to be able to use seawater um, through desalination as a freshwater source. Mangroves are nursery areas for crustaceans, mollusks, and fish. These habitats provide a rich source of food while also offering refuge from larger predators. Without mangroves, the fishing industries globally would suffer a dramatic decline. Threatened or endangered species such as sea turtles and a variety of birds utilize mangrove systems feeding and nesting within the mangroves. These coastal ecosystems are incredibly important for a variety of ecosystem services, inordinately important for fisheries and fisheries productivity, for biological diversity, for storm protection. But what we're also finding is they're very important sources and sinks of carbon.
Mangroves sequester carbon at a rate of two to four times greater than mature tropical forests and store three to five times more carbon per equivalent area than tropical forests like the Amazon rainforest. This means that conserving and restoring mangroves is essential to fighting climate change, the warming of the global climate fueled by increased carbon emissions that is already having disastrous effects on communities worldwide. Intact and healthy mangrove forests can provide sustainable revenue-generating initiatives including ecotourism and other recreational activities. When people look at coastal ecosystem, and uh, which is something we living in Abu Dhabi we see every day, it's very easy to actually take it for granted and to assume that these are one environment or they're on their own, they stand on their own, and they will be there for the time to come. It's very important for people to understand that these ecosystems are here because we created them and they will be there only if we actually take care of them. Mangroves represent less than 0.4% of the world's forest, but they're disappearing three to five times faster than forests as a whole. Development threatens mangroves, like megatourism projects, coastal development, polluting industries, and large-scale shrimp aquaculture. There are a number of reports that have been conducted by thousands of scientists that indicate that we are facing a sixth extinction. Um, if we don't do anything, we're at risk of losing more than a million species in the next few years. What can we do? Increase the awareness of the importance of mangroves and plant more trees. The Environment Agency Abu Dhabi, together with the global utility company NG, is preparing to launch the first phase of the Blue Carbon Environmental and Social Responsibility Project that uses drone technology to help rehabilitate areas of Abu Dhabi's mangrove habitats. This pioneering initiative will use specialized, custom UAE-built drones to plant thousands of mangrove seeds and to monitor their growth over a year. We must invest in the greatest museum of all, and that is nature. And you know, in its conservation and preservation, it is a reflection of our humanity.